What upsets me the most is the use of eminent domain. And this is an involuntary risk. None of these people ask for this, and they don't have a choice. But one thing that everyone from tree huggers to tea partiers could relate to, a government coming in for the benefit of a private corporation is wrong. This is not a done deal. Pennies can be stopped. We can do this. Pennies likes to refer to my home as a structure. It is not. It's where my family lives. And I will not let them destroy me, my children, my community, or my state. I'm not alone. I'm part of HALT. And we are many, and we're determined. We will fight this. Our preserved open spaces and farmland were not set aside for the benefit of private companies to build an unneeded pipeline. I think it's absolutely crazy at every level. There's been no planning, no alternatives analysis, and no clear demonstration of public need. This is a massive pipeline. This is wrong. It could spell financial ruin for us. Frustration, disgust, anger, because this pipeline's going through. I wake up in the middle of the night worried about what can we do to stop this. People need to get involved. There's growing momentum and we need to keep building upon that and tell Penn East to go home. So contrary to Penn East Public Relations PIM, we intend to prove that there's no valid justification for taking our homes, farms, and properties and endangering our livelihoods and families for a pipeline that is not needed, not wanted, and harmful. It's pretty much the most beautiful, rustic setting in the state of New Jersey, and they wanted to ram a pipeline right through the middle of that. How can land that's been preserved supposedly forever be assaulted by a pipeline? These lands were set aside for our children and our grandchildren, and we have an obligation to make sure they stay that way. It's a threat to our future, and it has to be stopped.